Y'all trying to pop your for a real only. What's up guys? This is your boo Eric Valesquezy and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. I know I'm doing wonderful today. And some of you may be expecting. I'm not going to start today by saying welcome to another one of my crazy motherfucking videos because I don't think this one is as crazy as you all imagine it to be. So, today we're going to well I will be discussing something very personal to me, something that I've always that's been a huge part of my life. Um, it's needless to say that we all have different struggles in life, whether it's, you know, image or mental health or even addictions or behavior. But uh, today I really wanted to, for all of you to see a very different side of who I am and through this platform, um, so you can see a different perspective um, of all the things that you guys have been witnessing and watching me do and all that stuff. So as I always mention in almost all the start of my videos, you know, this channel was meant for me to experiment, for me to come out of my comfort zone, for me to practice my shamelessness and to be raw and real with all of you. So the topic that I will be discussing about today is weight, body image, body shaming, you know, things that have always been a huge part of my trajectory and my story as a person you know I know some of you may or may not have struggled with this but um, in, in no way do I want to share my story uh, to evoke pity uh, but instead you know make it uh, as a my my story for other people to um, know that it's okay to be who you are to love who you are let's take let's take it back let's track it back a notch so um, growing up, I was very, very fortunate to have uh, two parents who loved me, who were very supportive of everything I did. <laughs> but honey, it did not come with any nutritional value <laughs> because I remember growing up, my mom just would just basically let me eat or let me have anything that I wanted. And that's good and bad, of course. You know, I know that they wanted me to shower with love and to feel very you know appreciated but I feel like everything needs to be learned from a young age especially nutrition so uh, my parents would just let me have a lot of a lot of basically snacks you know kids just don't eat much food food but they eat a ton of snacks so I would always just splurge and eat a shit ton of snacks and eventually what that cost is that when I was around the ages of I want to say seven to maybe ten um, I gained an incredible incredible weight it was pretty bad like I was a pretty pretty chubby kid growing up and of course that came with some consequences from school and even family you know people kids kids will be kids they will all you always call you name call you from fat to I mean I'm not gonna name them all because you all know what those names are and I'm not here to just repeat everything and you know go over things that some of you might know already but the point is that in my mind it's like okay and you know I have all this support for my for my parents to for me to eat whatever but I didn't I never thought about like my my appearance which is so important right to if you if you look good you you feel good so let's take it back to middle school because that's when I really realized that hey you know like your weight is actually a problem so this is when I was probably 11 or 12 um, when I started hanging out with trying to make more friends more consistent friends and and I remember very clear I remember very clear I was a very studious person in middle school and one of my main goals was by the eighth grade to be an advanced PE or you know and PE where, where all the skinny and good runners and bitch I remember when I approached my PE teacher and asked him if I if it was okay for me to join what mind you I, I was a, a kid so I didn't know the requirements to be in advanced PE like obviously you had to not only be skinny I'm not saying you had to be skinny because there were all types of body types there but you have to have a certain you know what do you call it athletic abilities right which I completely lacked due to my weight and that was the main the main thing so I remember I worked really hard on Tuesday runs trying to outbeat my my 
my time and everything when I when I approached my PE teacher and said hey can I be in an advanced PE he, he I, I think he almost laughed if I'm not mistaken like he basically was like huh like he asked me to re basically repeat the same question again and imagine like there is there is things and we go through all these experiences in life right so there is a shit ton of things that we just forget but this is one of them but that I it'll always linger in my mind his reaction when he basically said no you know like you don't qualify like no like if he he just gave me the excuse that oh um we we approach these kids we ask them to be in advanced PE um because you know this class is more rigorous whatever okay so I like I said middle school is when I really started feeling really shitty about my weight but without doing anything about it because I didn't know how to get started I didn't know about nutritional values or or exercising or none of that middle school was eh. now we're gonna go to the big dog you know high school you know we all know that for high school pretty much sucks in the sense that when you're a freshman and you have the seniors the seniors are like the popular ones supposed to be the sexy ones you know all the girls want to be with or the guys want to be with but i was still i was still a chubby kid i was still a fat kid you know so throughout this whole time i guess i was just very insecure about who i was and that kind of took a big toll in, in terms of like my grades and the type of social circles that I was and even my mental health, you know, because I remember I, I knew that I had to do something about it. And of course, it was eating better and exercising, but I never I just never knew how to get started. So it's just something that I never knew how much it could affect you and something that can really mess everything that you want to accomplish. And especially when there is no guidance, like, okay, let's say I wanted to eat healthier meals, but how, how would I make healthier meals? You know, I didn't know how to cook that well by then. Or how would I go to a gym if I had to stay after school for a couple of hours until my mom would pick me up. And then when I finally got home, I had to do homework and eat dinner and who was gonna take me to the gym and bring me back? I didn't drive by then, so I know this might sound like excuses, and they probably were excuses, but at the time, that was just my reality, and it wasn't just easy. It was never easy for me to say, I'm going to lose weight. You know, I remember in, I think it was the 10th grade, there was this bully, you know, his name was fucking Michael, and I'll never forget that. Um, he used to always walk by me. Mind you, we weren't even friends, we weren't even acquaintances. He was just in my PE class and I just knew of him because he was, you know, a bully. And he would walk by me and he would like scoop my boobie. <laughs> Sorry, scoop my boobie. Uh, or scoop my man titty, you know, he would do this. You know, y'all, you, you, you not guys know what I'm talking about. You guys have either done it to somebody or have seen somebody, but oh, I cannot even <sighs> begin to tell you how much that shit pissed me off like every time that dude would do that i just wanted to like basically fight him and beat his ass for doing that because that was a reminder you know that was him reminding me hey hey fatty or hey chubby guy or whatever the hell you know and that's not cool because all these things you know we internalize these are things that make you feel like shit when you're a teenager you know because obviously you want to fit in you want to be part of the popular crew or you want to just simply be accepted which is at the end of the day what we want to be loved and to be accepted but there was no way of me accomplishing that when my weight was such a big obstacle during this whole time so um, eventually you know a few more years passed by in high school and I began making much more many friends and you know I felt much more confident I probably dropped 15 maybe 20 pounds you know by the time I graduated um, so it wasn't like I was extremely obese um, you know but I was still very much self-conscious and I know that really messed with my brain it really messed with the way that I felt about myself 
until I graduated high school. You know, in high school, because I knew all those people for like five, six, seven years, I was in a bubble. I was literally in a shell. Like everybody knew me. I had to really maintain what people thought about me. But it wasn't until I graduated high school when I had like an enlightenment moment and I figured, okay, well, I had a little part-time job. I worked for Target as a cashier since I was 16. And you know, I would save my money, even though my paychecks were very, very small. Um, I would still save as much as I could. And that summer, when I graduated high school, um, I did two very, very huge things. Number one, I came out. I came out of the closet to myself and to the people who loved me. Okay, so that was that gave me a huge sense of freedom and it made me feel like hey like it is okay to be who you are because after I came out of the closet and came out of the closet or accepted myself uh, as a gay person um, that's when I really really began to love myself and to value and appreciate myself so so then I was like okay well I had this huge struggle which that's another video you know I'm just giving you the my coming out story that's I'll save it for another time but I had these two humongous struggles of being very overweight and being gay like and being in high school like that was just so tormenting as it is but it has a solution all these things are part of my self-development and are have been an essential part of the person that I am today, right? If, it, if we didn't have struggles, if everything was butterflies and rainbows and roses, you know, we wouldn't grow to be strong human beings. Can I get an amen? Can I get an a woman? <laughs> okay, so once I came out, I decided to make one of the best investments of my life and that was to get a personal trainer. So I had a personal trainer for three months and I went on this crazy weight loss experience of having a personal trainer, working out, eating healthy, doing everything I could to lose weight. At the end of those three months, I was able to lose 35 pounds. Imagine like I went from being like 196 to like 160. And I felt absolutely amazing. You know, I've never felt as good about my body image and my self image until that day so you know I, was, I had just come out of the closet I was looking very fit um, I had changed jobs because that fall I got an amazing an amazing job that I loved and I I was all I was all about it so my life had a really really big and really positive turning point however this is the big but because I was so confident in the way that I was looking and the job that I had and the way that I was feeling about myself, I began to neglect the gym. So I was feeling good, I was fitting in all the clothes that I wanted to buy, and I started partying too much. I, start, I stopped going to the gym. I stopped eating healthy, you know, and I, ju and I just instead focused on living my best life, doing the most. And what happened? Within a year, or maybe a little bit more than a year, I had gained all the weight back. And it was just absolutely horrible because all that hard work that I had done for those six months to really like feel and look my best were chopped out the drain due to excessive partying, maybe drinking, you know and just the lack of being conscious like guys what I want to what I want to get across here is that when you work so hard for something don't just throw it down the drain like you know that was my opportunity to be like okay well you learned all these amazing tools and these amazing things with your trainer put them into practice daily it's a lifestyle change not not just like okay um, I lost the weight you're gonna you're gonna be like this forever so it's been what it's been already four years and i still i've struggled with my weight you know that's what i'm trying to get at like i'm still it still lingers in my mind it's still a goal that is yet to be found and it's not so much the way it's not so much this the exterior the appearance but this this right here 
our mind, our mental health, the way that we feel, our thoughts, it's literally what we will project. Okay, I already gave you my backstory of my of this journey, of this very, very tough weight loss or self-image journey. Um, but let's bring it to the present, okay? Today, um, I just want to tell you all that I am I'm still on a mission, okay? I'm still very much on a mission to better myself physically. Because mentally, I can honestly tell you that I'm doing absolutely great, okay? I realize that, you know, it's not about this, but it's about your heart. You know, it's about the kindness that you spread to people. It's about being yourself. It's about inspiring people. It's about to just being you. You know, why am I going to let uh, my weight, per se, be the number one determining factor of my happiness? That I can't, I can't let that happen. It is my job alone to realize that it's in the best of my interest to feel good about the person who I am so that I can make the right choices that will lead to a better future. So instead of thinking so much about the past, that it's already dead and gone, how I used to be 160 pounds but not anymore, or thinking about the future of how I'm gonna be happy when I reach this weight, well, if I'm not happy right now, how am I gonna be happy when I reach a certain weight? You know, the happiness start from right now. You know, every progress is a great progress and we're all work in progress. I'm gonna die and I'm still gonna be in progress. I'm always gonna be a student of life and there is a lot for us to learn and to enhance ourselves. So my tip for you would be, if you are struggling with weight, you know, take baby steps, learn. We have a plethora of information on the internet. Um, so much information that can help us for different diets that you want to try out or different workouts from home or at the gym, outdoor. I am so privileged to live in a beautiful state like California, so we have a ton of places to work out that don't require a penny. You know, like hiking and running in beautiful parks or just, just living your life that you imagine for you. So if you're somebody like me who continue to struggle with weight, you're not alone. I'm here with you. You know, and let's continue to challenge ourselves so that we can be the best person, the best version of ourselves and for us to be simply strive to be happy. And most importantly, no labels, honey. Stop calling yourself fat. Stop calling yourself a blob. Just do you. Like at the end of the day, you live with you. You have your internal conversations with you and just be shameless about where the fuck you are. Just be. You know, stop trying to just live too much in the future. If I were this, I would be this. Honey, it starts from now. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I think this video just went a little bit too long than what I expected. So I'm gonna leave it here uh, by telling you all, thank you so much for watching. I know you guys were expecting a whole different type of video, but I really wanted you guys to see a whole different side of me. I hope you guys made it all the way to this video. To the end, I should say. And um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. There's gonna be much more content. Um, I have funny content, okay? We just wanted to twist it up this week and show you guys a, a, a different side of my personality of who I am. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please click that subscribe button, like this video. If you think this video might help somebody or if it helped you, please share it. Let your friends know um, so they can join my YouTube family. And I am so happy to spread this with you guys and to share some love and positivity. And most importantly, don't forget to pop your for real only, honey, until the very end of your life. I will see you next time. Bye.